All right, welcome back, guys. Today I've got another interesting quadcopter for you. It's a YH19. That's pretty much uh, all I can get from it. I don't know any other brand. It's just basically got a YH19HW written on the box. But it's a nice looking uh, drone here. Foldable quadcopter. It's uh, pretty reminiscent of a popular DJI product, <laughs> as you can see. And um, here's a few other pictures here. Folds away, just like many of these uh, selfie type quads these days. It has Wi Fi real time FPV, HD camera. I believe it's the 2 megapixel one. Yeah, it's a 2 megapixel version. There's also the uh, lower resolution uh, 0 0.3 HD video, 6 axis gyro, the flips, headless, gravity sensor control with your phone. And it's also got that track navigation, so free trace where you just do lines across the uh, your smartphone or tablet screen. So there's a box there, nice looking controller, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, this was provided to me by TomTop for review, so thank you to them for sending this out to review it. Okay, so quickly get into the box and um, have a quick look, and then I'll charge it up and take it for a test fly and put it through its paces. Alright. Okay, open the box, let's have a look. Got the user manual here, collapsible aircraft. All right, just have a really quick look. I won't go into it, guys. So as you can see, it takes three batteries. All the uh, different keys. I'll go into them when I'm at the field. You got the uh, camera mount. So very good instructions, I'll just um, go through the pages like this so you can have a quick look rather than see you explaining everything. So it's speed selection, all that sort of thing. Very short little uh, user manual but it covers everything including all the parts on the back. Okay, you get a Wi-Fi app. Uh, brochure here going through all the uh, different flight trace modes VR mode for FPV if you want to use uh, VR goggles gravity sensor oh this actually folds out okay so the YH FPV app you've got the um, app avatar there shows you what it looks like get it from the app store like all these other ones that you do these types of uh, quadcopters these days. Nice looking app. The interface screen looks pretty good. It's got a lot of options there. I'll go through them a bit later on. All right. And it's in Chinese on the back, so yeah, you're gonna read one side. So here's a here's the quadcopter here. Let's have a look at this. This looks nice. So there you go, guys. This is a DJI Spark clone. Probably the best one I've actually seen of the Spark. Folds out. Just uh, focus that there, guys. Sorry about that. And these are pretty uh, locked in very nicely, not like uh, some of the other... Uh, foldable ones you can actually hear it click so that's a good thing so it's a nice looking uh, nice looking quad pretty lightweight it's got the battery door on the back there anything on the bottom here it's got a little door there I would say the Wi-Fi FPV camera would be in there battery tab here let's have a quick look at this one any markings on it so you got the charging port just there it's 
so there's CHA meaning charge pretty common plug which is good that's um, just like any Android tablet or mobile phone uh, you got the micro USB plug there to charge it's a 3.7800 milliamp hour so that's not too bad proprietary battery in a case probably take that case out and it'll just look like a normal uh, lipo but um, that's how they've done this one it's got a plug there though so it's, uh, yeah it's proprietary anyway guys so um, let's just try to slide that in have I got the right way yep and it just clicks in all right so you got um, the propellers here are a two piece instead of one piece so that's pretty good a bit like the uh, Mavic or the real spark I suppose um, I don't know in a real spark so I'm not 100% familiar with it but it's uh, it's pretty much a replication of the any DJI product that um, has these types of uh, collapsible two-piece props like the uh, Mavic and all that so that's good uh, if you hit something like a tree or a wall bump into a wall they're just gonna collapse into into and fold up so that's good uh, save any damage on on the pro propellers so nice little camera there it's uh, tiltable by hand okay so this is a two megapixel version not a bad looking lens Hopefully it's a wide angle one. Is there any charge in this? Okay, I held it down. And some nice flashing lights there. You got the red on the back as you can see, the two uh green on the on the rear arms and the uh blue on the front. Alright, cool. And it's got just the word drone on the top. Pretty light. Uh but yeah nice compact sort of design it's probably pretty much similar to the size of the real real uh dji product okay now got the controller now this is a nice looking controller i think they even replicated this perfectly uh to the real thing it's got the word drone on it as well and um you got some keys here that looks like uh, one key return, headless, up and down trim, so forward and back trim possibly. Maybe these are trim buttons as well, sideways trim. Got four keys on the top, shoulders, some fake looking antennas there. There's nothing inside them, so they're just for show to make it look like the uh, real deal. <laughs> And um, I think it said yeah, there's three batteries in this one. I'll put them in later. Okay, so this has got the phone holder which slides underneath. You just got a couple of indentations to put your fingernail in there. And uh, you fit your, your phone. It can actually fit a quite a large phone by the look of it. So that's good because I've got a pretty light, large phone as well so okay so usually you have mounts on the top i'll just put this like that you usually have the wi-fi uh mount on the top for your phone and uh this one's on the bottom so that's that's a nice change actually it's probably even better down the, the bottom there it's, you might get a bit of a uh, bit of a better view without any glare maybe if you're holding it like that away from the sun so that's the controller and I think you just got your basic parts guys yeah got some uh, the cable USB micro USB to USB cable for the PC uh, or wall adapter if you got one just clip it in there uh, you got the man you know compulsory screwdriver they give you on every quad purchase that you get and it looks like a couple of blades here so not a full set but Nevertheless, it's uh, good to have a couple. Okay, so that's the empty box. Um, I'm going to charge this up 
and we'll take it for a test fly guys see it the feel okay guys I'm down here with the YH19 foldable quadcopter this is the spark clone uh, so I'm gonna test it out at this field and uh, see how it performs guys all right so First off, I'll, um, I've bound it. I'm just going to um, start recording on the Mobis in. Now, I didn't bring an SD card with me, so I'll just be recording on the Mobis in app. So, I'll just go into the app here, guys. So, as you can see, it's a very nice picture here. Uh, it's got a great camera. So um, my phone won't fit in this uh, holder. Oops. Fortunately, my phone keeps popping out of this uh, this uh, holder here. So um, I'm just going to leave my phone on the ground here while I record. Uh, I'll see if I can start recording. Okay. So we'll go for a flight. What you got to do for the gyro caliper, two sticks in the middle, and you'll see it flash. I'll do that again. Okay, LEDs flash. Okay, to start the motors, two sticks and out. And if you don't take off, it'll shut down. See, like that. All right. So let's go for a flight. Auto takeoff is this one. Okay, I'll just put it in third rate. Just got my phone on the ground here because I can't put it in the uh, in the fold. It's a bit windy, but it's doing all right. Nice stable flyer. Mid rate three, because there is a bit of wind. Okay, now we'll test out, uh, we'll test out headless mode. Yep, that's working well. It's bringing it towards me and it's sideways there, guys. See that? Left is left. Right is right, so that works perfectly. Take it out of headless. Just send it out there a bit. Fighting the wind. I'll press one key return and it comes back. That's great. I'll try it again. I'll send it further out. Send it out there. One key return. And as you can see, it's coming back by itself. That's a good one key return there. It's pretty straight. Try it one more time quickly. Send it right out straight ahead of me. Okay. One key return. I was drifting off a little bit that way, but that's pretty good, that guys. Very good. All right. Try some flips, which is this key here. Oh, that was the <laughs> that was the kill switch. <laughs> so you got to be very careful with these two here. One's a kill switch, and one's a flip button. So just be mindful of that, guys. Got to turn it off again, on again. Okay, we've got visual now, okay. So, um, I'll start recording again. Start recording to the SD card. Now, you've got to be mindful of this one, this button here. It's a flip when you close... And it's a kill switch too. You got a kill switch here too, so you gotta hear that beat first, okay? 
Yeah, because it had a bit of a... Tumble. Okay, so I'll do a gyro calibration again. Take off. One key take off. Nice looking spark clone. Put in second rate there. You have a good look, good look at it. Okay, third rate. Now let's try that again. So it does a nice flip. Okay, flips work. Doesn't do forward or, or back flips, guys, just sideways ones. Okay. Now, if you press this in, the pitch stick, it'll land. So, push it in. Now we'll do a landing. Okay. So, I just push that in. This one's for auto takeoff. See? The throttle one is for auto takeoff. Third rate again. Wind's really picked up now, guys. I uh, may have to land it. Okay, I just landed it. <clears throat> the wind really picked up all of a sudden. It's got a great quality camera, from what I can see on the uh, on the app here. Really nice camera. Okay, I got visual again. Um, I just had to get out of the app there because it did lose uh, range just then. It's a really clear camera. I'm looking at my phone now and pretty impressed by it for a toy. For a t so I'll do goes now via the app. And as you can see, it takes pretty good photos. Nice and clear. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll go for another quick flight. It's a bit, still a bit windy, guys. Let's see how long the battery lasts. Take another recording here. Okay. So, what I'll do, I'll just turn the motors off. This has altitude hold too, guys, so holds this altitude pretty good. So I'll just do another gyro reset. One, whenever you have a little tumble or a bit of a rough landing, do a gyro reset like that, guys. Okay. Speed rates are on the top bumper. This one's for photos and... Um, and video long press for a video short press for a photo if you've got an sd card in which i don't i'm solely using it off the wi-fi app at the moment because i forgot an extra sd card so um fire up their motors third rate because there's a bit of wind and auto take off As you can see the barometer is adjusting to the uh, the wind there. Just keep it within Wi-Fi range so we get a a nice picture. I'll just send it up a bit.
bit windy up there. Okay, here we go, bringing it back. These flight planes are flying pretty darn low around here. Oh! Come back, don't get on that roof. I was going to get on the roof then. Okay. Don't want to lose this uh, toy spark just yet. It's a great flyer. So as you see, um, pretty pretty smooth. smooth flyers seems to have a pretty good uh, flight time too off the 800 milliamp hour one cell it's a proprietary battery try to bring it in for a bit of a closer look we have flashing LVC yet no now guys I'll try to get a position where I can see it good have it fight in the wind here. I'll bring it down a bit. There we go. Very cool looking representation of a spark here. Best one I've seen yet. There's those other foldable ones that uh, I recently reviewed and uh, they don't look as much like the spark as this one does. They really copied it really well. <laughs> right down to the uh, two-piece props and the design of it. So besides those basic functions, you've got Altitude hold, okay, LVC now guys, so I'll land it. There you go, you got flashing lights here on the bottom. Okay, I'll just land it now. Hit the auto land button. Just a nice smooth landing. <coughs> okay. So just a nice little smooth landing there and uh, I'll just turn it off. So yeah, it's a um, very nice quadcopter for the price. Um, it's got some nice uh, functions to it, basic functions. You got your, you got your headless, altitude hold, uh, 3D flips, only the sideways flips only guys. Uh, no front or back flips. And you've got your return to home key, which is really, really precise. Um, all these buttons are work very well. You just got to be mindful about the kill switch on this one because um, the kill switch is on the back shoulder here, the lower shoulder when you have it facing this way and the flips is in this left hand corner of the top shoulder button. If you press the right hand side of that button it acts like a kill switch as well guys uh, which I <laughs> demonstrated there. So that's the only drawback I can say about this control. This control is really great Bart. Very well put together controller. Um, you know, unfortunately my phone didn't fit in there but it's a little bit, I mean it does fit but it kept popping out because it's really stretching this uh, mount here but um, very nice precise controller, easy to use, good, uh, good sticks on it as well, okay. So there you go, it's all uh, neatly put away, folded away, compact, and uh, pretty much nearly put in your pockets that small. But um, yeah, great, great quadcopter for the price. 
must say. And it flies really well. So that concludes my review of the YH19. Uh, currently at Tom Top at the moment, guys. I'll put a, a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Great little quadcopter for the price. And yeah, really uh, good uh, clone of the DJI Spark, I think. Um, I haven't seen one that looks so close yet. This is the best one I've actually seen, guys. So hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, thank you for Tom Top for sending this one for me to review today. I appreciate it and um, Stay tuned guys for more RC reviews and modification videos And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now